Ooh, we back with it. It's your boy, it's Cast the Green. Got some shit. We're going to see what these dudes got to say about the Eagles. You know how this shit goes, man. Uh, We're going to go back, probably find some, some montage shit, too, so we can find them talking when they was talking crazy at the beginning of the season. Now they're starting to, you know what I mean? Kyle Hurd's already apologizing. Kyle Hurd's already in another video apologizing. I'm going to have to bring that one for you. Let's get it, though. Both involved beating Washington. Like, share, subscribe. Try and make a thousand uh, subscribers by uh, for April. All right, we at 200. I don't think it's a stretch. You know what I mean? With your help, I think I can get there. Like I said, like, share, subscribe, comment below. Y'all been, y'all been doing good with the comments. I got to give you credit for that. Uh, hit the pay pizzy. You already know. Hit that PayPal. In the first scenario, if the Eagles win and then both the Vikings and Saints lose, they're in. Or How do you think it's going to happen? Like, I think we're going to go in there. I think the Vikings going to lose and the Saints, who they playing. I forget who the Saints lo- play, who losing to. I think that's how we're getting in there. I think, let me see. Vikings lose and the Saints lose. I think it's just going to happen this week. It's just going to be a done deal for both them teams. I don't know. The same t- the day, yeah, the, the Saints defense is just tired. They're just tired of being disappointed. They can clinch with a win against Washington plus Some a Vikings loss there too, and man. a Niners win. It's so crazy now you know what to like root this. for there. But let's talk about this game in the NFC East. The NFC East talk about is it. messy by nature. Watch your mouth. It always is. And it, that's Washington not the case. Is Yo, why do they always talk like that? I never get it. I never get it. Yo, you know what? They really, really turned it up and really started going in on us when we got our Super Bowl. Because, like, we don't. We literally the only division in the league with the, every team got a Super Bowl ring. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they be talking about us like crazy. Like her whole sex life probably messy. She talking about us like like we messy on my face. Hope like man, somebody get your sister, yo. I don't know whose sister this is, who's the lady, this wife, this. But but she don't really gotta be talking about us like that. Where the other chick at? She she cool. The one who don't look as good. It's all it always be like that, right? It'd be your, your, uh, uh, what's that? Ah, uh, I forget her name. Let's get it. Let's get it. On trend right now and very on brand. They have lost three straight. Things seem to be kind of unraveling there. We've Sounds seen, like Washington. We saw the fight. All right, we get that. But I, D-Hall, it's going to change. You know this team with, uh, really well. You are in coach, the broadcast booth for this team. Not as long as Jalen Hurts is in Philly. So how bad is it? Well, you know what, Colleen? That's the most frustrating part, Tell right? Us. Watching this team kind of self-destruct on primetime TV, it, it was a little disheartening. This is a football team that last year, yes, they made it into the into the playoffs, right? They won the division. They were 7-9, and nine, but but still they won the division. And so everything looking won to this division, year was, okay, let's please. build on so much come success on, we that we had last them. year. Come on, let, and then to we, see this football come team. Come on, that's what just, I mean. Like People be like really expecting – to like come on they they had to know that they didn't earn the division last year right they had to know that come on they had to know that you know what i'm saying though come on man we could have went to the playoffs last year that's why i had a problem with just throwing this season away we could have went to the playoffs last year i ain't mad at them for that but to just not go out and try to like Oh, man, how he really squeezed the juice out this lemon, man. Not quite show you who they are. Defensively, they haven't been very good. Offensively, they really don't have an identity, don't have a quarterback. You know, to me, it's just a lot of the same old, same old. And it's so frustrating when you've been in that locker room and you've put on those pads to kind of see where this franchise is. You know, Mm. I I just feel like um, for me, it's personal with this team, right? I I suited up with them. Um, I still live in the area. And so... I see a lot of things that a lot of people don't see. It's got to be rough. And He's probably a still a fan and all that really stuff. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times when you have a new coach come in and try to establish his culture, and, I, you know, I, I love Coach Rivera, but I just feel like the plan maybe isn't the right plan. It, it's so much Carolina up here um, in this D.C. area. You know, when you bring in front office guys from Carolina, when you bring in coaches from Carolina, when you bring in uh, trainers from Carolina, uh, players from Carolina, it, it just feels win. like Carolina. And to me, 
Carolina wasn't a team that I was like, okay, they're New England, right? They, 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 to me, didn't have the blueprint figured out. They never developed Cam Newton. We're still talking about can Cam throw the football in between the numbers and things. Damn. That was a bombshell statement right there. Damn, my fault. I just, that was, I mean, the truth hurts. Cam should be a lot better than what he is. The truth hurts. Things like that. Damn, he said they never developed Cam Newton. Uh, this team's just a long ways away, and I love Coach Rivera, and I hate to say it, but for the first time, and I'm sorry I'm going on and on, but for the first time. Yeah, but he's keeping it a bean, though. You can't be mad at him. First time, I think, with this team, um, they've kind of splintered against each other, and that was something, um, even last year when they were struggling, that had never happened. And so when you have guys kind of going at each other in the locker room on sidelines, that's hard to come back from. We as players, yes, Difficult. we've been in brawls and things like that on the field, on the sidelines, and in, in, in practices, but it never really carries over. And so to kind of, you know, what I'm hearing, it, it is carrying over. And so I don't know where this football team goes from here, but the message has to be firm, has to be decisive. Yeah. And facing a team like the Eagles that seem to have it figured out, we joke Nick Sirianni about all these different sayings. Now we're sitting here saying Nick Sirianni, you guys got fly eagles fly. You know, a couple first round draft picks coming, but they, they got it figured out up there in Philly. We figured something still out. Still trying to figure it out. It seems like the same old song. You led with that, Colleen, and I mm. mean, that's the music I'm hearing. Same old song. Che mm. che check this out, though, bro. Mm. I mean, uh oh, when I push back. The only reason why I thought this Washington football team would have a chance this oh, year is because of this defense. And the only reason why I thought this defense yes. was going to be pretty good is because. Hold up. Didn't they get rid of Brian Kerrigan? Why would he think that defense was going to be better because of the one ball? Because the one ball's out? Come on, man. Y'all got to be kidding me. Because of that front four. And the front four got those two Bama boys, Deron Payne and Jonathan Allen. And so, D, I, kind of my question kind of back to you real quick. Like, I don't know if they can come back from this, man. The, I mean, this defense is identity. These two guys are identity. playing with him. You better stop playing with him. Another grown man to put his hand in another grown man's face. And they're One of them going to be in Philly next year. Then they, then they swing on each other. To One of them going to be in Philly next year. You don't year. come back from this. Watch you it. You don't. And like you said, man, we've all been, you know, we've been in, um, you know, I don't know who's fights and seen what's going contract on. Contract is honestly, shorter. But one of them going to be in Philly the next year. Over, it, it really is over. Looking at this video right here, man. I'm not so that sure good. that this was is, is over even now, and it's mm. a week away. So, D, like, how do they come back? From, I'm talking about those two guys in, in, in regard to that defense. How do that was those entertaining. guys come back from this? Because those two personalities and stuff, I don't think they will. Uh, did you want me to answer that? Or, Colleen, did you want to take a crack? But, Imrod, when you <laughs> said no, where no, did they I go from here... That's so that, that's the answer, right? These are guys who knew each other prior to hooking up in Washington, Jimmy right? These are guys Sunday, who were Bristol. teammates in college, had a whole lot of success. But you and I know when you're losing and the coach is telling you to do one thing and you're feeling like, man, I should be doing something Cousins is unvaccinated. Yo, hold on, yo. Did heat. you see that? That shit just said. Cousins is unvaccinated. You see that shit? It's just... <laughs> Randomly, Cousins is unvaccinated. Talk about violation of his HIPAA rights. Damn. You need to do one thing and you're feeling like, man, I should be doing something else. Mind blowing. Get your little, get your little Ultimately, when you win, it cures everything. And I just don't see this football team winning, um, especially to close the season out. Two games, two tough division games left. It's going to be interesting to see where they go from. Ugh, he got a stinger. God bless him. Oh. All right. Well, I got this game We're out of time. tomorrow for they NFL. They talking about. Uh, yeah, I got this game tomorrow for NFL <laughs> He's game He's only day. questionable. I'm going to see how this team responds. I'm also going to see how Colleen Wolf and all her friends travel down from Philly down to Landover, Maryland to take over that stadium because that's what Nick Sirianni is asking the Eagles fans. Oh, she's an Eagles so fan? Could be ugly in a number She's an Eagles fan? <laughs> all right. Now to the <laughs> Damn. Uh, here Who needs enemies when you got fans like that?
Golly, shizzle sticks. Shizzle sticks. Where that? Hold on, I wanted to get to this real quick because I didn't watch it, but I just want to point out. What's the big deal about a first quarter kickoff? I started it and stopped it because I was going to well, bring it to you. I was like, I every day. Look at that. Look at that. Was, uh, so I've uh, got to admit, my it's my most wrong, wrong of the year. So I'm going to admit my, uh, mo- my most wrong of the year. Over. And it happens so infrequently that I have uh, to. So you mean, Colin, I can't idolize you anymore because you're wrong? <laughs> Get him. Exactly. And I know you were the entire <laughs> Get time, him. right? So I said, I didn't like Nick Sirianni's press conferences initially. You don't like your lost. hair. I said, Jalen Hurts, I watched weird. him in college. He's more run than throw. But I will say That's this, he has if you're to. not great in this league, be great at something. Create an identity and clarity to your locker room. And this team runs the ball. Every guy in that room knows what they are. They've steadily improved. I was wrong on Philadelphia, coach, quarterback, team. So what is the film saying? Because as I watch them, I don't know if it was uh, the pivot was week six or seven, but I do feel they're just a more productive offense and sort of know what they do. Well, they started the season, as you'll recall, with Nick Sirianni having Jalen Hurts throw the ball an awful lot. And whether that was calculated or not, we don't know. But I think he found out that with Jalen Hurts, at this point in his career, he couldn't be a pass-first offense with Jalen Hurts. So he found that out, and then what did he do? He made it. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't agree with that. But uh, when you say pass-first. I, I, I translate that to pass happy because, like, that's what I hear when I hear pass first. What is that? Is that 25 passes a game, 14 rushes? That doesn't work. There's still way too much time on the clock. You know what I'm saying? What is that? What is that? Five drives? That's five drives. That's a half. So how many more passes is that? Because you're not, if you're talking about 20, 20 rushes, you know how we don't let that happen over 14 rushes for, for, for one of the running backs. All right? So then we throw in another running back. All right, that's cool, but that's not what be happening. Feel me? They get pass happy. Next thing you know, you got 40 passes. Is that pass first or is that pass happy? That's unbalanced. Feel me? That doesn't set up the run. There's no run when when that's your situation. You have no time to run anymore. You have to pass, 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 pass. All right. You have to, you know, create run plays by, you know, dumping it off to the to the running back out the backfield. You know, coming out the backfield. You know, those aren't not that's that's like that's like just giving the dude, the ball at the 25 instead of kicking it off. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a result of something that you're doing wrong is why that's not working. The fucking, the kick, kickoffs are amazing. What we did wrong and why we're not seeing so many big plays coming from the kickoff anymore. What we did wrong was move it up five yards. You know, the uh, uh, from the 20 to the 25 where you get the ball if you just accept it. All right, that's cool. You want to take big hits out of the game. All right, but don't be mad at the kickoff because you fucked it up. And don't be mad at the running game because you pass happy. Feel me? Uh, uh, a more balanced game, you know, is like 30 rushes, 20 passes, you know, 25 passes you know like that's at the top end i mean like that's 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 getting to the top end like that's a lot of passes you don't need that many passes in the game you really don't 49ers just showed you that a couple of years ago you know like you really don't need that many passes you know you run the out the rock you know you should, right down their throat you know 35 40 rushes per game that defense going to be tired. I mean tired. Especially if you get a lot of that in in the first in the first half. Come on, man. Then you take your big shots downfield when they start creeping up too much. Come on, man. 
Like, that's what I mean. Like, I don't understand. They be talking about past first. No, you past happy. You trying to make a negative sound like a positive. Like, we not slow, man. You trying to manipulate people who really enjoy this game. Y'all don't be really like, like, Cosell's cool. Uh, you know, we fuck with Cosell, but we're not going to let nobody off the hook. Stop talking with this negative connotation when you're trying to present a, a positive argument. You know, he knew he couldn't have a pass first. We can have a pass first team. You know, it could be. No. No, that don't even make sense. Pass first. What does that mean? You run the rock to set up the pass. Like, this shit ain't hard. What? They're not putting eight in the box. Our, our offensive line too crazy for that. They're not putting eight in the box. They, they come on, he'll air them out all day. Why y'all playing like this shit is not hard? This shit is not hard. This shit is not hard. Adjustment. He built his offense around the run game with Jalen Hurts as the foundation. This is he built this offense. Man, the fans made uh, made Sirianni run the ball. If it wasn't for the fans, Sirianni still wouldn't be running the ball. He'd still be having Jalen Hurts out there looking stupid. It's a team that starts with the run. The quarterback is a critical. Like, where are these? Uh, I like, you know, I like uh, uh, the ball we just drafted, you know. Uh, Quez Watkins, he seemed all right. And then it's that damn slot, man. For me, it's that damn slot position that we have not, like, we we take it for granted. It's a big tool, and we take it for granted. You know what I'm saying? We got we got Rager downfield. Why we got Rager downfield? He's a slot receiver. You know what I'm saying? Like Gainwell having Gainwell in there with another back is a pretty cool little setup because then you can almost you could come out with split backs and and, and you know use Gainwell as a slot with the split backs. You know. I, like, there's a lot you could do with two receivers on well, with Gainwell's abilities. You know that he, he's a really good route runner, and, you know, he's a running back. So you can, you got a lot of variables there, but I still want another running back on, on the field. You know, uh, a run-first running back. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe he said that. You know, I'm just saying, like, I don't, I don't, I don't get where they think you're going to have Jalen Hurts go out there 40 you're not gonna have russell wilson this ain't hard you're not gonna have russell wilson go out there and do what what sirianni was asking uh 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 jalen hurts to do one read rpo are you kidding me one read what is this kid fucking high school they was one read in him come on man he, th these dudes knew it. You think the other? You think, you think that shit didn't leak? That it was only one read? Come on, man. That's not cool. We got more RP. We got more reads than that in, in Madden with the RPOs. Little piece to it. They ideally do not throw a lot of passes in given games. You know, in the NFL, twenty-five pass attempts for your quarterback is not a lot, as you know. See, 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 see. We just uh, we just disagree. We just, this philosophy is completely different. I don't agree with his philosophy. I don't feel like that's a winning recipe for a young quarterback. That's down the line shit if, if, if you want to go that route. But, but even with that, if you go that route, come on, Goddard dropped his first pass in the, first, in the last two games. You know, he's a shorthanded receiver. Well, tight end, what do you whatever want to call it? You know what I'm saying? Like, dudes drop passes. Dudes drop passes and then you just put that on the quarterback. Come on, man. It just, it ain't apples to oranges. Next thing you know, Joe Burrow's top five. Now, I think highly of Joe Burrow, but what I'm saying is, look how quick, you know, they they be like, all right, I'm going to show you how they knock. We're going to knock Joe Burrow and we're going to knock Jalen Hurts. But where do they fall at when we get done knocking them in the conversation, I'ma knock Joe Burrow. Big, I like Joe Burrow, uh, especially the black jersey. I can rock that. All right. So Joe Burrow is not top ten. Uh, it's not top five, right? Joe Burrow's not top five. Joe Burrow's not top five. All right. 
Well, all, all you hear is Joe Burrow, top five. That's where he gets left. Jalen Hurts is not a starting quarterback. Jalen Hurts is not is not a franchise quarterback. Jalen Hurts is not a franchise quarterback. Jalen Hurts is not a franchise quarterback. Jalen Hurts is not a franchise quarterback. That's all you hear. You don't hear Jalen Hurts, franchise quarterback, good? No. You know, like, hey, Joe Burrow, the franchise quarterback. He's top five. Jalen Hurts ain't top five, so he's not a franchise quarterback. The fuck out of my face with that dumb shit, man. It's, it's not apples. I mean, these dudes ain't. You just heard what he said. They didn't coach Cam up. They didn't. They didn't develop Cam. If this for me, this season is not about evaluating Jalen Hurts. Mm -mm. On the flip side, though, it is about evaluating Nick Sirianni to see if he can develop a quarterback. Doesn't matter what quarterback it is. Can he develop a mobile quarterback? An athletic quarterback, as they like to say. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we got. You know? That's, what's, that's what is working for this team. So can you develop that? We know you could develop Gardner Minshew. You know? That's right up your alley. But that's not this style of offense. Feel me? So can you develop this style of quarterback, Nick Sirianni? My devaluation wouldn't start for Jalen Hurts till next year because he ain't had a full. He's almost done with the season, so you know he's about to have a full season under his belt. But Nick Sirianni was the one under the microscope for me because I could have went right back. We could always at the end of this year go crying back to Doug. Doug, please come back. No, kiss my ass, Doug. Here's all this money. All right. <laughs> We we'll always go crying back to Doug, man. Why are they acting like we can't? They better stop playing. But I do. I want to hype. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, we. I go right, man. You got me fucked up. I will call up motherfucking Doug Peterson, like, baby, come back. <laughs> you can blame it all on me. Man, they better call Doug Peterson the fuck up before he goes to the Jaguars and get like 10 mil a year. You better stop playing with Doug Peterson, man. Fucking shit, damn it. Oh, yeah. So they they made the transition from finding out that Jalen Hurts was not a quarterback you could ask to drop back 35, 45 times. Why would you want to, Greg Cosell? Greg Cosell, why would you want to? How about you slow the game down? Run... Run the rock a little bit right up the gut, just like that. You know what I mean? Wear them dudes out to pass. You know what I mean? Pass. You know what I mean? Run, 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 run. You know what I mean? Little pass. You know what I mean? Touchdown. You know what I mean? Then we just like like eight minutes off that clock. Now the team runs down. They score real quick. Bow. We slow it down. You know what I mean? Slow it down. Defense stays fresh. Feel me? Their defense is on the field the whole damn game. They tired. You know what I'm saying? How does none of this make sense, Mr. Cosell? I just, it don't make sense to me that they keep trying to shove a square peg into a round hole for ratings. You know what it is. Women don't want to watch a slow game. They want to wear. They want to watch a pass happy game. They want to see big passes and in the air. Woo! That's women want that exhilarating thing every time. You know what I'm saying? The the rushes don't do it for the ladies, and that's what the NFL wants. They want us to have a game that women like to see. Let's keep it a bean. Let's keep it a bean. What are we talking about? The NFL wants to produce a a a a a a. a, a, a Melodrama. You know what I mean? They want to produce something that women can really, really sit down and enjoy. What they don't get is it's all for not. It's all for not. You know what I'm saying? This only women that's going to watch football is the wives of men that are happy with the product that you put on the field. You understand that? So if you're not making us happy, don't think single women is watching football, stupid. Y'all got it. Who's like? Y'all gotta know. 
Yeah, I gotta know that's not the case. And have the success you were hoping for to an offense in which the run is paramount. And by the way, it is. Why is it paramount, Mr. Cosell? The run is paramount because our offensive line is great at run protection. Not so much at pass protection. Do you understand the difference? Like, just the way, like, the, the ball on, on defense, the linebacker, I forget his name, Singleton, Singleton, he's good at pass protection. He's fucking rubber dub dub scrubbing a fucking tub at stopping the run, man. Did you see that game against the Buccaneers where, where thank God, Leonard Fournette's out for the rest of the season because if we go up against them, we got a fucking chance now with TJ, the emergence of TJ, Ed, TJ motherfucking Edwards, feel me? Should Ben should have put him in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, Alex Singleton is really good at protect, pass protection. Feel me? Too bad our offensive line isn't. So we don't, uh, uh, you know. So we don't pass the ball too much like that because we really can. You talking shit about Jalen Hurts. He still needs time to develop and the pockets closing in on him. Sometimes it ain't. And that's where he needs to develop. He still got, he hearing footsteps that ain't really there. He moving up, but not committing to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? He making rookie mistakes because he needs to develop. And Nick Sirianni, I put that on you. Feel me? Why do we, why is, our why is pe pe running the ball paramount for our team, Greg Closell? Because uh, it's easier for our it's easier to coach on a whim. That's why Jeff Stoutland teaches it up quick, and we have like eight different offensive linemen that can go in there and run the rock. So we can go in there and win, run the rock, win. Simple as that. This is about everybody. Come on, it's week seventeen. This will be the last week of the season. Except it's not. We got one more game out this hole, and. and that's what we're going to see in the next coming weeks. Start Starting last week, we're going to start see teams start running the ball. It's nice out today, though. I ain't going to lie. Uh, we're going to see start, teams start running the ball. That fucking throwing the ball in the wind and shit don't work. Not in the playoffs. This offensive line, Kelsey is playing phenomenal football. Yo, Kelsey's done this year. You got to see him walk. Man, be tired. I'm, I'm going to post a video of him talking. Uh, uh, at, he had a little speech for the guys. Man. Poor fella. He's giving it all out there. Hats off. He's putting, he's laying it all on, laying it all out on the field, man. He ain't leaving nothing on, he's leaving everything on the field. Because that man's knees, as you can see it, his feet, his knees. I can see when he's coming off the game last week. When at the end of the game, he's walking back to the locker room. I was like, oh, poor Kelsey. This guy's almost done. Then I see, I thought he was going to get iced down, be good. I see him talking. I was like, damn, this is like two, three days ago. He's walking like, ah, I'm like, he's real brittle. Like, you know, not brittle, but like, you know, he, whoo. Yeah, 11 years on, 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 on in the NFL. So, you know, hats off to him. I think this is last year. Uh, I'm really good, happy to see him get the Pro Bowl now, nah, but upset about a couple snubs. But Ball and the left side of the old. Especially Jake Elliott. Line, Landon Dickerson and Jordan Maialata, when it comes to the run game, mm. they may be the two best. They may be the best guard tackle tandem on the, left side on the left side in the NFL as far as the run game is concerned. So I want to talk Dolphins and not Tua because I think Tua. Yo, them dudes is. That's utter savagery with them too because you got two like, you know, Dickerson went to school. So, you know, he got some shit with him. But I know he's following my lot. Or my lot is just like, Rah! and, you know, Dickerson's like, all right, let's go. You know what I mean? But Dickerson thinks he's really good. He's got that, uh, uh, that old, you know, like, I don't want to, I don't, Dickerson, Dickerson's a good old boy. Dickerson's a good old boy. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. So, so that's the only thing that's wrong with Dickerson. <laughs> he's a he's a good old boy. He would have been cool with Carson Wentz, but you know, my lotta, my lotta's like a genuine good old boy, not the American good old boy. Giant, my lotta's a good dude. You know what I'm saying? So, he he he's you know like. That shit don't phase him. So he's like, come on, buddy. Come on, little buddy. I'm going I'm to kill you with kindness. Feel me? So so I think they're a great, uh, their personalities go good together. Dickerson and Mylotta. I really do. 
So uh, uh yeah. Yeah, that was that was that. Uh yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. In comments, we can argue. You already know. Uh come at me straightforward though. Don't be passive aggressive. That's for pussies. <laughs> you know, so you know, hit me, stay up, take care, God bless, be safe. Like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the pay pizzy. You already nizzy. Be safe. Boom. <laughs>